toast till I get up. Let's create a new Android Studio project. Choose MC Activity. Select a name for your application. Let's call us first app. Select the source language to Java and select the minimum SDK and click finish. Android Studio will create this project for us. Let's gradual sync. Creating a project, you need to be connected to a strong internet connection to avoid errors. So this is the activity main.xml. This file is responsible for the user interface, the front end, what the user sees. Now we're going to add two buttons and a text view to our app. First add the button. Before we go for that, the constraint layout was set to match parents at both sorry at both the width and height. The layout width and height value of the constraint layout was set to match parents so that the constraint layout will occupy all the available space. Now we set a unique ID for the constraints layout so that we can access this from our java code whenever we want to so press enter you can see the name changes here now an error occur on the button saying it is not constrained vertically or horizontally thereby it will jump to the top when you run the app so let's set constraints to the button drag it up Select the side and drag it. Give the up a padding of 16 dp. Then set the right constraint by clicking and set it to 0 dp. Set the left constraint to 0 dp. So this centers the button horizontally and constrain it to the top with a margin of 16 independent pixels dp we'll change the id of the button also to button underscore toast this will be our toast button this button will show a toast when clicked so the uh, layout width can set to match constraints if you want the button to occupy all horizontal space available we mostly use wrap content for buttons. Now this is the label of the button. Let's change this to toast. Press enter. So we add the second button. We want it to be at the bottom of the screen. So we constrain it to the bottom of the parent, constrain the right, and constrain the left. Now we change the label to count and press enter. Let's go ahead and set bottom margin to 16 dp also. So we are added two buttons. Now we have to add a text view to show the value of the current count. So we add a text view and set its constraints, the top to the bottom of the toast button, the bottom of the text view to the top of the count button. The constraints decides to the constraints layout. 
this just shows that the constraints worked correctly so we have centered our text view let's change the layout height to match constraint then set margins so that it won't be too close to the button so now you have a space also set the layout width to mask constraints and add the margin to it also so now we have our desired text view size but the text view is not centered it is located at the top left let's change this by changing the gravity of our text view so scroll down and click the flag and choose center click apply now the text view has been centered you see that uh, the text view is too small so we want to change the text appearance so click on that then select any text appearance that you feel is okay for you okay text headline is still too small so you go there and change it to text display for I think we can work with this so the next step is to change the background of the text view so we want to change it to black so just click color background dark click ok so we no longer see the text view we solve that by changing the text color to white now we can see it clearly so we change the text which we know the initial value of count will be zero press enter it still appears too small let's increase the text size a little bit increase it to something like 150 sp note you always use sp when sizing texts but any other dimensions make sure you use dp so that is all for the ui i think that's all the ui let's set the id of the text view so that we can access it in our java code i set the id for the button count also hit enter and click yes so now we are set notice the warning signs this appear because we are using hard coded strings in our application the best practice is to extract the string resource so we go to the code tab and click on the text press ctrl alt enter then set the resource name to button underscore toast underscore label and the result value is toast click enter and come to the next one alt enter extract resource button underscore count underscore well label click ok and scroll down to the text view and also extract the value by pressing alt enter extract set it to initial underscore value and it's okay 
so we've cleared all the warnings head back to the design tab and you see there are no longer any warnings showing so we have our ui components all set it's time to write some java code so you head to the main activity dot java So this is the onCreate function. This function gets called every time the activity is created. So when your when the user opens your app, this gets called. And the set content view locates our activity main XML file. R dot layout dot activity underscore main. So this is the next file. The intent filter says that this is a launcher activity that is this is the activity that we open when the user launches the app so we want to access the views from the java code so we click button And Android Studio has imported Android.widget but dot button for us. Name it toast button. Find view by ID R dot ID dot the ID you called it in your XML file. Let's cross check that uh, button underscore toast. Button underscore toast so on the semicolon. Always add a semicolon to the end of your codes, that's obvious. Then we get access to the text view. We name that value, which is equals to find view by id r resource dot id dot text view underscore value. So we get the last view, which is the count button. R dot ID dot text the button underscore count sorry. So now we want to associate click listeners to the toast button. We want something to happen each time the user clicks it. So toast button dot set on click listener new on click listener. So choose the first one suggested by Android Studio. This turns out a code for us. So inside the public on click method, we want to show the toast. So we write toast dot make text. The context will be main activity dot this. As the context and the message you want to show. Let's say we want to show hello programmer. the duration of the toast we choose toast dot length short we can use long we're going to use short this time then dot show to show the toast so that happens we solved for the toast button so let's set for the count button first we need a private uh, integer count we initialize it to zero this will be used to update the text view since we know the initial value is zero already so use the count button that set on click listener new and click then and just suggest you choose it choose the first one and also suggest and you write a function you increase the count by one using the m count plus plus then you update the value text view value that set text 
integer dot to string we are using integer dot to string here because m count is an integer but we are trying to set a string that is set text so we have to convert it first so we have successfully set the unclick list now to the count button now you should run your app on your physical device or your emulator and everything should work just fine if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me i will drop my twitter handle in the description time is barely on our side i don't wanna waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no i don't wanna waste what's left and Turns the sun